Well, hey folks, how's it going? I am on my return trip from Columbus, Ohio. Now, some of you that follow me on Instagram and maybe kind of noticed the post that I put on the community page here, um, you kind of know where I'm coming back from. But uh, Kaz Equipment, our John Deere dealership, invited me to go to an event that John Deere put on in their training facility here in Columbus, Ohio, where they unveiled their new model tractors that they have coming out here shortly. Uh, what you're going to see in this video is a 6M120, a 6R250, a 7R330, an 8R410, and an 8RX370. Uh, now this event here is the first event that John Deere has put on where they have released all these models. There has been a video here and there, a snippet here and there of a specific model and um, but however this this event that I participated in yesterday was the very first event that they have done to release these um, new tractors more or less to the public. Um, they've had some very private viewings of these tractors but um, nothing at the public level if you will um, there was other customers at this event yesterday and they also have uh, the event going on here today the 12th so December 11th and December 12th was when they unveiled the new models in Columbus Ohio and I'm sure there's going to be um, you know other events like this uh, as time goes on here so um, at the end of the video, uh, you'll see where we are able to test drive the new 8RX tractor. Um, we were only driving it in the parking lot, but we are able to get first-hand experience with the new command arm that they had in this 8RX tractor. Again, it was on pavement, but at least it gave you a, a real feel of that um, command arm, which is the... Um, joist, full joystick control. So um, we'll get into the rest of the video here. Remember to leave me a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below, and I want to thank you in advance for watching. We'll catch you. We'll catch you at the end of the video, folks. Okay, this tractor here is a 6M120. This tractor more or less took the place of a 6430. I apologize, I do not have a walk around video of this tractor. Now, this tractor, what you have to keep in mind, all these tractor models that you're gonna see in this video, the last three numbers represents the engine horsepower of the tractor. So this is a 120 horsepower tractor. It's got a um, loader on it, mainly used for utility type work. That's the, the, the job that this tractor is going to kind of fall into here and what they have done with this tractor is they have redesigned the hood and they have sloped it down considerably in the front to aid in better visibility for a loader so the 6430 the hood on that one was probably 10 inches higher in the front and it didn't aid in being able to see the loader at all from what they had explained earlier on um, in, the sh in the viewing of these tractors here. All right, the next tractor that we're gonna walk around is a 6R250. This tractor is 250 horsepower, and it's used over in the UK a lot for running dump carts and wagons and whatnot. And what they have on this is an auxiliary hydraulic oil reservoir right on the right-hand side of the axle housing. And what that is used for is aiding in um, adding extra hydraulic fluid for when that tractor is used on a dump wagon or a dump cart. Uh, we have problems with our 8120s and 8320s with not having enough oil to um, dump, dump wagons and whatnot. Uh, we end up having to fill the hydraulic oil reservoirs right up. Uh, right up to the top in order to have enough oil. Now this one is the largest of the 7R tractors. This is a 330 horsepower um, 7R. We have a 7290 
and um, during that era the largest one was a 310 horsepower this has got a front hitch and PTO now what you'll notice this cab is the same cab as they use on the 8000 series as well and they move the door handle down to the bottom side of the door which is a little handier for getting in you haven't got to get halfway up the steps in order to get the door open now this is the command arm the new command arm that's available on the seven and the eight i'm not it might be available on the sixes too i'm not sure this uh command arm will run all your hydraulic functions uh it's got like 11 buttons if i remember right on that joystick and um it's pretty handy this joystick here is the joystick for the front hitch um we've got basically the same thing on the uh um 7290 uh this corner post here i just glanced up on it there there's a few more hookups for different machinery controllers like your corn planter controllers and whatnot on that one corner post there and they've got a large uh, touch screen radio which i don't even use a radio anymore and then this little uh, unit here is a, um, a way to get your wiring and stuff from your different implements it gets it in and underneath the window then there's a washer fluid container there now we'll, we're kind of jumping up on the top of the cab here that is the strobe light there and then that little yellow thing on the other side is the um, satellite receiver which stays on the tractor now uh, this is another 7R330 this one was just outside is all uh, it's basically the same thing we're just going to give you a little walk around of this one and I'm just going to let you kind of watch things here there's not much explaining to do on that I've kind of explained everything already but that is a a nice sleek design um, got the larger rubber I think those are 42 inch rubber I'm not sure and this is um, a spreader truck that just happened to be there that I thought I would just walk around uh, another thing you see in the background um, they had a 16 row max emerge corn planter now they do training seminars here at this facility so these units are probably going to be brought in and they're going to be going over different things to um, explain to different techs around the country on what to look for and how to service um, this stuff. We're going to go inside here now and we're going to take a look at the 8R410 and the 8RX. Now there was some posters here just kind of showing the different footprint. PSI ratings and all that stuff for wheeled tractors and tractors that have tracks on them and everything else it, it kind of basically showed you what um, the amount of compaction that you get out of a wheel versus a track so this one here is an 8R uh, 410 it's the largest 8R tractor now I had some comments that it looks real goofy what you got to remember is there's not any duels on this and it has a huge fender flare there that is covering up a lot of that tire there's a lot of area to put a huge tire on there and it's got rather large tires on it to begin with and i noticed that this one had a hydraulic cylinder for the third link on that um three point no, three point hitch there Got a nice new design on the hood there with a new decaling and um, you know, the, the black kind of fits in nice. And another thing I noticed is the hoods are made um, to be a little thicker than what we have on our 8320s and 8120s. Those hoods are all cracked from, for, for, from fatigue. Again, this cab is the same as what was on the 7r this tractor has an e23 transmission which i would really like to try one of them out that um i think i'd be really satisfied with uh that transmission it does basically what an ivt does but maybe a little better again you got your corner posts with your different wire hookups that you can 
use for uh, different pieces of machinery. A cup holder that's back by the rear uh, post there, which that looks nice. Now, this one, see that vent right there? I don't know if I show you the vents up in the ceiling at all, but this tractor, these calves, I got a little foot peg here. You can kind of lounge yourself out there. This one's got carpet on the floor, but I don't know if I show the camera up into the ceiling or not, but this, they took out our beer can coolers, folks. But they do have a cooler that's by the seat, and I forgot to show that. Now this here is the 8RX. It's a 370 horsepower uh, track tractor. This is set at 120 inches wide, and I think they were 18 inch tracks. Now, what I failed to mention on the, I assume, I'm not sure which seats were in the 7R tractors, but I know that that 8R had an active seat and they don't put an active seat in the 8RX, but they put a cab suspension. And what I was told is you're going to get one or the other as far as an option, and you're not going to get both. And I just kind of show the uh, suspension that is kind of linked in with the rear of the cab here. I guess with these tracks that it can ride kind of rough, so they... Um, more or less put cab suspension on them and it kind of um, if anybody's ever run a bulldozer you'll know what I mean as far as um, riding on rough ground and whatever with tracks but this has got what is this one got six SCVs yeah, six SCVs on this one I think the other one did uh, the wheeled tractor I think that one did as well and uh, here in a second we're going to go outside they are uh, starting to test drive this um, tractor here. Oh, you're all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. I guess I'm next. All right. All right. Getting a plan for getting everybody in. So there you go. Have you been in the Command Pro yet? No, I've not been awesome. in the Command Pro. Awesome. Got to wear seat belts. Well, that's company policy. Yeah. So, <laughs> where's my hard hat? Yeah, I need yeah. safety glasses and gloves, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so the big things about that Command Pro, we've talked about it a lot, is getting used to it. So doing a short five-minute demo, sure. you probably don't get used to it. But um, the stuff like they talked about inside, like when you want to go forward, you just go forward. But remember, there's a button on the back side. You have to okay. click that button so that, that then you can activate. It's the larger one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kind of click, you know, feel like a right, right there, right yeah. there, where your finger kind of naturally rests. Yeah. And if you, uh, when you click that, you can go forward or reverse. Now to get into creeper mode, like the like the screen or the picture up there shows, you could go over to the left, into that left cradle, and now you're in creeper mode. So if you want to go forward or back, you can just do that right here pretty easily. Go ahead and drive. So once it's over in the gate over sideways, then you can... Yep. Okay. You don't have to click the button when you're in creeper mode. You only do when you're in regular... To trail. click out of park? Yep. yep. So then you, you just let it go and it comes back into neutral. Mm -hmm. and then to go regular speed. And and that's yep yeah, for the regular then speed, you gotta you gotta hit that. Click that. Mm -hmm. Okay. My hit yeah, there we go. 
I just hold it down, go ahead and click it, hold that button down, push the stick forward while you're holding it. There you go. Okay. You let go of the button. And so then, yeah, you're just going forward. You can let your hand off of it, and it's almost like a hydro, right? It's going to maintain wherever you just kind of were. Um, and then what we've got, I've got set up here for five miles an hour max speed. So if you wanted to go forward with it, push it hard forward where you feel it click like a detent, and it's going to put it to five miles an hour. Okay. So now you can, you know, set that to wherever wherever you'd want. And, to come and where's to, your speed on this this rotary yep, here? Yep, exactly. Yep, you could click that to kind of like what you have out today on the IVT on yep. the wheel, you know, or even the E23. Same sort of thing. Uh, to come to a stop, you just pull that handle all the way back till it clicks. You feel it like click. Get, there you go. That okay, should bring it to a zero the, stop. Into the detent on the. Just, you, always, you, you gotta hit the hit the park <laughs> oh, release again. That's, okay. that, that's probably the biggest thing to get used to is pushing that button. It seems like. Uh, but yeah, the um, remember that the hand. We did, whenever you turn the tractor on, it's going to throw up a screen on the display that tells you to, how to configure the handle. If you want to reconfigure it to something else, um, okay. just watch this guy here. I'm not sure where he's going. They're coming to us. Um, but you can go in and, and it'll tell you because sometimes you know you may got in and and you're using that button A on the handle to run. You know, three-point hitch, but maybe you know somebody else got in and changed it. So mm -hmm. that's something to always make sure when you get in is just to see when that screen pops up. It is what you want it to do. Now nobody's tried this yet, but why don't we go over there? We I go, don't. Let's we go don't, down. We oh, don't, don't own that. that. <laughs> no. Okay. But we, we own don't. this. Can we get through those trees? <laughs> From, I bet the landscaping people would be very upset with this. I would guess. But um, but yeah, then when I don't think we were kind of talking there, but the you know. The wheel versus the track when it comes to turning and I, I think there's very you know, there's there's not a lot of big difference. I've met a lot of guys that we've heard say, Well, when I can turn them I mean, it feels like a wheel tractor, I'm getting yeah. great turning radius out of it. Um, yeah, with it being a hundred and twenty inch mm -hmm. track space and there's a lot of visibility there. Right, right. Yep, like that that track spacing certainly could be changed, but you know, there's gonna be a different there's gonna be a different bar that's gonna mm -hmm. be needed, there's gonna be some different components that have to be changed out it's not something like I did have a dealer they were gonna order like 76 inch tracks and thought they were gonna change them to 120s when they were oh, getting them. Oh I see. Like, no, yeah. no don't do that. So it gets getting that comfort feel for like the stick I think is always one of the biggest challenges like, yeah. in the pro is just like okay what how do I what do I feel comfortable with this? And then to go in reverse you have to push the, the button down Push the button down and come back. Okay. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Yeah, the um, well, and all the features, of course, inside the cab, you know, is very similar to uh, to what uh, what we talked about in the classes today. Um, it's all the same cab. The left reverser, uh, it was the, an option on there. I think all the tractors we have here all have left reversers on them. So like you just went to forward to see it's sitting ready, sitting stationary. Yeah. So, so it, now it, you it could would go, need uh, you the, re the, the release of the park brake from the You could push the there. handle forward right now and it should go ahead and go a little bit. There you go. All right. All right. Go hit the park brake button if you could for me. Thank you, All sir. Right. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank yeah, you. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. Oh, we did. Good, we did. Yeah, See ya. take it easy.